morning, Lancers, and happy Friday. Let's begin with the announcements. AP students are invited to our annual fun de-stress day at Lost Worlds Laser Tag in the City of Industry. Join us from 2 to 4 tomorrow afternoon for a fun time. AP students who have not completed their pre-registration need to attend one or two after-school meetings next week. Please see the schedule posted outside Ms. McCullough's office if you are unsure about where and when to report. First semester AP Psychology and Government students need to pre-register for their exams this Monday at 3 p.m. in room 104. Any students challenging the AP Spanish or Chinese exam or any other student who were absent for the AP class pre-registration session must attend the makeup session on Wednesday, April 17th at 3 p.m. in room 104. Please be on time. Attention all marine biology students from spring and fall semester. The class trip to the Aquarium of the Pacific is April 30th. All field trip permission slips and your $30 fee are due April 15th. There will be a lunch meeting for all AP Hug students in room 206 at lunch today. Join Modern Earth and make a change for their annual movie night in the quad on Monday, April 15th, where we will be viewing Disney's Incredibles 2. Admission is by donation only. Dog or cat food or clean, gently used blankets or towels. A concession stand providing drinks and snacks for purchase will be available. 100% of that money will go to the animal set. So, shelter. See you there. Attention Lancers, if you didn't turn in all your service hours during yesterday's assembly, you may still turn them in to your small faith community faculty advi advisor until today if they haven't exported your hours yet. Otherwise, starting Monday, all hours must be turned in to Mr. Kasselak. Seniors, this is very much part of your graduation requirements. Before we move any further, here's Matthew Acosta with the news on all things Alma Sports. Hey there Lancers, let me get you all caught up on this week in sports. Let's get started on the field where our baseball team had a successful outing on Tuesday where they matched up and beat LaSalle 9-0. They had a game the very next day against Cathedral and defeated them 6-1 to bring their overall lead record to league record to 9-1. Way to go Lancers. And keeping it on the field, our softball team had a game on Tuesday against St. Joseph and won 7-3. They also had a game yesterday against St. Anthony where our Lady Lancers celebrated their senior night. So make sure to tune into the Almont Sports Twitter account for in-game updates of the game. Now onto the courts where our boys volleyball team had a game yesterday against St. Anthony. The boys must win two out of the next three games in order to qualify for the CIF playoffs. The Lancers will play Cathedral and Salesian next, next week to finish up their season. Good luck Lancers. Now that's all for this week Lancers, but make sure to keep up to date on all Almont Sports all the time with the Almont Sports Twitter account and the Lance.org. Now back to you guys. Last but not least, what you guys are all waiting for, prom. These announcements are very important, so those who are attending better listen up. Tickets for prom are currently available on the Bishop Amount website for $95 a person or $190 a couple. The absolute last day to buy tickets, get dress approval, and turn in your student parent agreement form and guest pass if you are taking a non amat student is this Wednesday, April 17th. If you're planning on renting a tuxedo for prom, go to the Friar Tux in West Covina and tell them that Bishop Amat ASB sent you and you'll get a cool 25% discount on your rental. That's what I call a deal. Just another reminder that all females attending the prom must have their dress approved beforehand and the deadline is next Wednesday, April 17th. There will be no exceptions. Since prom dress approvals are right around the corner, we went and asked Miss Medina the do's and don'ts of dress shopping. So if you guys are shopping this weekend, I suggest that you read carefully the guidelines. Because if you don't, then you're not going to be able to get your dress approved. What are the biggest concerns for dress shopping? So biggest things to look out for when buying. Make sure that the slit is not too high. It can't be too low on the back. And then on the front, make sure it's at your um, breastbone. What do you need to get your dress approved? We need a picture of you in the dress in color, you in the dress in color, the front and the back. So make sure whatever picture you turn in is the dress you're going to be wearing. If there's anything wrong with the dress, you will be sent home. Okay, so just make sure you guys follow all the guidelines. You guys are going to look beautiful and you're going to have a great time. Okay? And this is Taylor McNeil reporting for The Lance. Any problems on your end in meeting this deadline, for whatever reason, will not lead to an extension. Prom has been scheduled and in the, cal and in the calendar for months. Again, the hard deadline is next Wednesday before Easter break. When you make your selection, make sure you follow the guidelines on the student parent agreement form very, 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 very carefully. Dress approval for prom is typically pretty fast and easy, provided you have followed the guidelines, so choose your dress wisely. Please see Ms. Mrs. Salcedo or a dean if you have any questions. Recently, Alma students performed in the Beauty and the Beast musical. Let's check out Phoebe's story about the musical's ensemble. 
While the stars of any show are important, equally important to the show is the ensemble, a group of actors who add dimension and vibrance to the show by dancing, singing, and taking on roles of minor characters. So what, do you like being the ensemble? I do like being the ensemble. It's really fun and it's not as stressful as being one of the lead roles. So you just kind of get to relax a little bit and you can have the same experience as everyone else in the uh, lead roles as well. I was happy because I have a lot of work that I have to be doing and it was nice to still be a part of the ensemble as a freshman as well, so it was nice. Ensemble lets more people get involved in the production. Some see it as a starting point for something bigger, while others just enjoy being on stage and out of the spotlight. What is your favorite thing about being in the ensemble? Being in a lot of parts, especially when um since you're not in like um, the soloist, you're not feeling as pressured, but you have a lot of parts and as in the ensemble, you pull together the whole musical. Without the ensemble, what will you hear? Nothing. Do you want to have a bigger role in future shows or do you like being in the ensemble? Frankly, yes, I would like bigger roles, but if I'm in, in the ensemble, I don't mind either because we pull together the whole musical. Because who wants to hear? Silence. Why you decided to do the show? Oh, um, as like part of Chamber, I guess. Um, people in Chamber were joining the play, and it influenced me to join too. So, <laughs> do you want do you want a bigger role next year? Um, <laughs> hoping to like find my way up, but yeah. Cool. cool. <laughs> if you miss seeing Beauty and the Beast this past weekend, you are in luck because there are still three more shows this weekend. Pre-sale tickets will be available at lunch today outside of the Carroll Center for $15. The show takes place at the Whittier Center Theater with one show on Friday and two shows on Saturday. Come and experience the amazing Almont talent and sing along to your favorite Disney tunes. Now it's time for our weekly poll. Last week we asked you who your favorite encha enchanted object is in Beauty and the Beast. You said Mrs. Potts is your favorite enchan enchanted object. This week we want to know what you're doing for spring break. So make sure to visit thelands.org to vote and check out some articles, photos, and videos while you're there. Well, that about wraps things up for this week, everyone. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to have a fun and safe spring break. Have, have an, an amazing, amazing Friday, Lancers, and, and have a happy, happy Easter. Easter.